Good morning, I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm gonna be showing you all the new features in Illustrator 2020. There's not that many new features, but they're really useful and handy, especially the auto spell check, that, that's pretty cool on its own. But yeah, I'm gonna be showing you in this quick tutorial on how to use the new features so you can up your game in Illustrator. So let's get stuck into it and let's have a good time. <music> So one of the first features in Illustrator 2020 is the Path Simplify tool. They actually already had it in the previous versions, but they've actually just expanded on it and made it a bit better. So typically when you have an illustration or an icon that you've hand drawn and brought it into Illustrator, you'll image trace it. And what tends to happen is if you zoom in, you'll get all these little anchor points on the actual shape. And the thing is you don't need that many anchor points. You can actually simplify it by minimizing the anchor points and just having less of them so you know it makes your illustrator run a bit faster it also makes it that you can move around the anchor points and have better curved lines that's smoother and make it more organic which is pretty cool so i'm going to show you how to use it so press select your object or shape or whatever it is and then what you want to do you want to go to object path and then you want to go to simplify so now you can see what happens a little bar pops up this never used to happen. So pretty much what happens here is if I drag this bar down, it's gonna minimize all those points and use less points. However, you can see what happens, the bison starts to lose its features and shape and it makes it really smooth and curvy. So if I drag this, you can see it makes it a lot more easier and quicker just to quickly drag it to see how it's tracing and simplifying and how many points it's getting rid of. So if I drag it all the way, it will leave all the points. If I drag it into the middle, it might smooth it out um, about halfway and you know it's just about adjusting it so you can see the two icons help you they show you like this is more anchor points this is less you can also use this one as well which adjusts the anchor points so you can see now the handles are now changed and they're more pointy as you can see there if I just go back and open it because I clicked off it you can also click the three dots and you'll get a box for butt so it gives you more details here. So you can change the angle and the sharpness of the handles. So when I clicked it, you can see the handles went more of a sharp angle instead of curved. So you can smooth them out and make sure previews ticked on so you can see what's happening. So if I smooth them out, you can see that the handles shift and change to you know focus more on the curves. You can also click auto simplify as well, which will change some of the points. You can click convert to straight lines, but you can see it messes up the whole shape. And you can show the original path. So if I click that, the red line, I can't zoom in because the box is up, but you see the red lines there, that was the original, and you can see the brand new one with the blue line. So I can press OK, and you can see our edits have been adjusted there, which is super cool. So that is path simplify. See control I, you'd have to press start and it would search through all the words in your document and you'd have to go one by one and you can change it with the suggestions here. But this would be more time consuming and sometimes you just want to be able to do it a lot quicker. So the key is now, I can actually just right click and click spelling and click auto spell check. And what it's gonna do now is go through all the text even if it's not a text box and it's just like a text when you just press T and press it once and click and you type out a word, it works for that as well. So it's not just for like when you press T and drag for like a text box, it works for both. So I can right click, press spelling, and then you'll see auto spell check. And if I untick it, it's gonna turn it off. So now you can see, I can see all the words. So I made a mistake here, I can go edit it. And I can just, you know, go through. And if you're good at English, you might know the, sp the spelling, but if not, then you'd go to object. So you go edit spelling and check spelling and then you know the words will help you sort it out etc but yeah, it's just a quick way so you can find the words and it gives you like a red squiggly line so it's easy to locate the words that you misspelled so you can go back and fix it up so i think that's an awesome feature i'll definitely be using that one of the third features now is actually they've improved a lot of the appearance effects in Illustrator. So, you know, your drop shadows, your outer glows and all that stuff. So I'm in my appearance panel and you can see this shape has plenty of these effects. And what I'm going to do is just make a new circle and see how it works. So typically what you do, you press FX on the drop down menu in your appearance panel. And now to click star lines and you can add drop shadows, you can add the inner glows and all that stuff. So if I add a drop shadow, 
I'll press preview and now it used to be a bit laggy obviously my computer is a bit more built to run more um, of the Adobe program so it is a bit faster than the average but typically what would happen if you like edit these blurs and make it really big and pump the opacity and you know what I mean add a big blur it would lag but now as I'm adjusting this it's like not even laggy at all which is like really cool it makes it a lot more efficient so I can press ok that looks good I can add an inner glow so inner glow here color swatch let's go to the lighter the darker color in the center edge so you can see that and you can see that outer glow there which is pretty cool so yeah and you can see there's no lag it's actually running a lot smoother I'll add a maybe another glow change the color maybe add less blur Yeah, can play around and there we have it so just showing you those you know there's so many um, better ways now of doing it and yes yeah, so it's so much quicker I can turn them off and there's no lag it doesn't have to load or anything so I think that's super handy and super cool another thing as well is if I exit Illustrator I have to do that to show you what they have now is an onboarding process where they actually give you tutorials so on the top left screen before you even open a document you can click learn and it has all these hands-on tutorials here you can search for more in the bar on the right you got two tutorials for the web you know icons logos illustrations all that stuff and you can also go to the Adobe website as well so I can see more of the tutorials here and if you like click on it it's actually gonna open up and it gives you some prompts here so it tells you how to create this image as you can see I'm just skipping all the steps but it gives you the steps on how to create it and then you can give some feedback I don't want to give feedback but you have this window as well so you can also open the window by going to window and learn so it's just another way to open it up within Illustrator and just try it out and what's gonna happen is gonna give you this you know an image or whatever it is and you can actually create the logo or, or do whatever so I think that's super handy for beginners and it makes it a lot more efficient and actually better so yeah, I think that's really cool. And then once again, they've added some stability and other enhancements to, you know, the typography and other issues and bugs, which is super cool. They also have backward compatibility in Illustrator as well, which is super handy. So yeah, those are the main changes to Illustrator. I hope this tutorial was helpful and let me know in the comments below if you want to know some other features they've added. But that should be all for now. I'll catch you in the next tutorial and have fun designing.